So the NBA is almost back, but it could be without some of their key players. Now, by now, many of you guys probably already heard Damian Lillard of the Portland Trail Blazers. He already came out and said that unless they're playing for the playoffs, he's not going to come back and play some meaningless games just to kind of finish out the season. And that is it. And that is causing a ton of debate, right? Because this is something that the league really needs to consider. How are they going to come back from the coronavirus? How are they going to go ahead and start up the season? Are they going to have the training camp? How long will the training camps be? What then do you do? Do you do playing games? Do you do just the top 16 teams that are currently in? Have those teams as the playoff teams? There are a ton of decisions that the league is going to need to make. It looks like they're giving themselves a deadline of Friday to kind of already come up with these decisions because they want to get back to playing by July. So they have to kind of start revving things up and getting an idea of what they want to do. Well, it looks like everything will be played out in Orlando. I don't even think Vegas is an option no more. We know the NHL, they're going to be finishing out in Vegas. So we'll see what ultimately happens. But the idea that everybody wants to come back and play, I think is something that is overstated. I think it's, yes, players do want to play, but is the risk right of coming back and possibly you know obtaining the virus some way is that worth it especially if your team is already you know mathematically eliminated or you're coming back and you don't have that shot damian lillard is one of the realest players in the league as soon as he got drafted one of the realest guys out here and it makes a ton of sense what he is saying and i'm 100 percent on his side if i'm in damian lillard's shoes or if i'm another player do i want to put myself out there right put myself at risk for nothing right because my team isn't going to be in the playoffs. So these ramp up games are really just to get the teams that are playoff teams kind of situated and ready to go. Now it's a completely different story. If you come back in and maybe they finish out the entire season, they have about 15 games left. Maybe they could come back from that three and a half game deficit that they are right now behind Memphis. Or if you come back and say, hey, we're going to have a playing game. Maybe the top 10 seeds or maybe a couple seeds after that will play winner gets in the playoffs, losers don't. But at the end of the day, this is not going to be a fair situation for everybody. The NBA is it's impossible. The situation they are in is impossible to make the 100% correct situation. I think for the NBA, you come back and you just go to the playoffs. Yes, the game may be ugly at times. It may take a while before the games get interesting. It's going to be sloppy. And maybe you might see more upsets because maybe some of the higher ranked teams take a little while, little while longer to gel and get into that rhythm. But I think that's just the best way to do it because the, the incentive for players to come back right now for a team that's not going to be in the playoffs or if you don't have a shot of making the playoffs I don't think it's really there so I 100% am with Damian Lillard uh, I would not play either if it was a situation where you're playing meaningless games doesn't make any sense to me so i agree with him i know some people have different opinions i love to hear what you guys have to say about it in the comment section below what side are you in with this would you come back if you were in the situation or would you kind of sit on the sideline man let me know in the comment section below it's your boy d lord i'm gonna see y'all next time peace